Hello, everybody! Welcome back for more Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy 2! I'm Hunter, the one who was there found a polar bear. And in the last part, we did four stars from the two first galaxies in World 3, and we're actually backtracking all the way to World 1 to do Yoshi Star's Comet Star thing. Which will we be doing right about now? Oh my god. Anyway, so the first comet of the prankster variety, prankster comet detected in this game, is Spiny Rainbow Romp. Oh my god, that means some wackiness is about to ensue. And ironically, their first comet of the prankster variety, why do I have to keep saying, does it say prankster comet star? Anyways, our first prankster comet star is actually one of the more difficult ones. At least by some people's minds and visions. What you gotta do is get them all! As Billboard there says, you gotta get them all! With Rainbow Star and his trippy onion skin that'll give you seizures! Hooray for killing the innocent children! Usually what you try to do is try to get at least 10 with a single Rainbow Star, at least that's what I try to challenge myself in doing. Actually, this is so far I'm doing pretty good. As long as I don't screw up. You don't even have to hit them with a spin attack, you just gotta run into them. Keep an ear out for the music to make sure that once it starts speeding up, you ought to look for a rainbow star so you don't run out and inevitably get hurt when you hit these guys after you lose your power. And I think I'm almost done here, just gotta get this. Oh god. No, 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 don't fall. That's bad. Very bad. Good, sir. That's bad. Good, sir. Where are you? I oh, just you over there. You sneaky son of a gun. I hate you and all the babies that you kill and incarcerate. Dang it! Alright. Let's chat it again. Without failing to notice that sneaky son of a spiny honey behind anything. Alright. I don't know why that spiny was hiding behind there. He is a mischievous bugger, isn't he? Yes, quite. Alright, let's go around this way so we don't happen to miss anything like that again. Alright, so he's there. He isn't fair, nor polar bear, so there's that stuff out. The way. Alright, so now I noticed you're there, so you can't hide from me now, bugger. Get, get up! Get up, get up, get up! Ah, crap! Grab this! Hit him! Hit him, hit him, hit him! Hit him! Get up there! Silly fool! Get up there, fool! You're a fool! Full of many kinds of foolery of Tom. Not Tom for okay, come on. Let's kick it into high gear now. Oh there we go! Yes! And we just ran out of the rainbow star power of two. Woo! That was close. And yeah, why not? Just for laughs. Let's get the rainbow star and collect the power star at the same time. See what wackiness results from that. Does the music play still? Yep, it does. Alright, let's collect the power star. You got a power star by doing some seizure-inducing activities. Alright. So with that, we get our first prankster comet power star. Collect! And galaxy completed from that wackiness. And with that, we get some more comets on Cloudy Court. And just Cloudy Court. Okay, then let's head to Cloudy Court. I think. Unless there's one here, which there isn't. We'll actually breeze through these galaxies because it might skip over something. But the only one I saw was in Cloudy Court, so let's head there. At the speed of sound. Alright, Cloudy Court. Let us go! Alright, now if I'm not mistaken, our Cloudy Core 1 is actually a Purple Coin Comet. Yes, the Purple Coins return in this game with the Shadow Lining. Not specifically any kind of long, lengthy collectathon thing. Actually, no, it isn't a Purple Coin Comet, I was wrong, but it is a Cosmic Clone Comet. I was even wronger, but yes, the Purple Coin Comets do return, but unfortunately, this is not one of them. The Shadow Lining? It's all about them cosmic clones that we ever so adore. As the music entails. It's actually a revi revision of the cosmic comet from Galaxy 1. 
But since there was no cosmic racing, it's just cosmic clones. It's just with the return of these guys, I feel... Oh, there it is. <laughs> I almost forgot. I almost did what NCS did. I forgot there was that one back there. I was uh, pretty sure that was the one you missed. I can't remember. I haven't seen this, him do this one in a while. But nevertheless, let's go over here. And we're going to do some wall jumping. At speeds of speediness. Before, if you want to slow them down, just walk extremely slowly. It takes a while, but you want to avoid bumping into them that way. And if you want to, you can speed up then. We blast off, and now we got to do some more running. More running. More running. I like it, you're going to make them stop like that. Alright, so now we got to break them as we get some... Cosmic clones are going to be a bit of a bother with this. Luckily, though, they do not seem to pose that much of a threat. Let's collect the Power Star. You got a Power Star. Through a prankster. Comment shenanigans. Alright. And I think with that, we may or may not get another prankster Comet Star. Let us find out. Yep, we do! We get one in Spindig! So yes, we, now we gotta head back to Spindig for what I think is a Daredevil run. Yes, I'm pretty sure it's a Daredevil run. My god, we're going back and forth between a lot of these worlds today, aren't we? <laughs> yes. Alright. So let's head back to World 1 and do the Daredevil run of... Of what? Of what? Of what? Exactly. Well, pranks the comet detected. Says it is a daredevil run of Diggleg. Diggleg's daredevil run of daredeviliness with daredevil eggs on the side of daredevil bacon with daredevil Dave doing the stunts and daredevil Dean doing the. Okay, this joke has gotten way too overdone. All right. So if you do not have any idea what a daredevil run is. It's when you have to complete a certain mission or defeat a certain boss with only one unit of health. It may sound difficult, but usually for the most part it's kind of easy. Depending on how much good you are at the game or not. Usually it's easy, but in the case of a boss, it's probably not. However, with Diggle Egg being one of the more easier bosses of this game, it's relatively easy. And if you do what I showed you how to do in order to defeat this boss, he should be cake. Relatively so. Remember, just dig through the planet when he's digging his things, and you should be all right. Unfortunately, for some reason, that thing. Okay, that never happened to me before. That's awfully strange, isn't it? Oh, let's try it again. Skip the scene. All right. All right. As before, you got to drill through the planet, make sure he hit the score thing. Alright, boom. Here go boom. Here go boom. Let's go boom. And I think, unlike before, he doesn't do that thing where he puts multiple drill buddies through his planet. Only one at a time. So careful of that. And I screwed up. Oh, no, I didn't. Ah, see? I didn't screw up. I didn't screw up at all. What are you talking about, son? Oh, no, wait, maybe he does put multiple drill bit buddies through his earth. And oh, you just did that, didn't you? Yes, you did. You're naughty. You're evil. You're sinister. You're cruel. All right, take three. Huh. You know, I kind of didn't expect this sort of a challenge from Dig a Leg, but apparently he's giving me heck. Usually I'm able to defeat Daredevil Diggle Lake in one go, but yes, not today. Alright, now we got his. Oh, he stomped his own drill buddy. That's a good Diggle Lake! Helping me! That's a good boy. Who's a good enemy assisting boy? Alright. There we go. Now let's see if we can do that again with the precise timing. Alright, there we go. 
Let's see if he spins around automatically, which it does not yet. Should wait and see. And he turns around. And we have defeated him. And collapse. And explode. And pretty things. Alright, so let's draw through the planet and collect the power star. You got a power star after being a such a badass. And unless another comet would like to show its precious little face, I think that might actually do it for this episode. Relatively short, surprisingly, considering we got three stars in it. Nevertheless. Oh, wait. Nope, there's another one. Okay, we got a new four. I actually think this is a daredevil run. No, it's not a daredevil. It's probably either a speed run or a daredevil run. Let's find out, shall we? Yes. Let's. Lettuce with lettuce. Alright. Let's. Go! Alrighty then. Prankster Comet detected. Alright. The purple coin shadow vault. Yeah, now this is what I was talking about with purple coins. There we go. Purple coins. Lots of purple coins. Purple coins everywhere in this place. Alright, so with the presence of both a secret star and a purple coin, you probably won't have to do with yourself. An awesome music 3, 2, 1, go! Yes, this is also lifted from Galaxy 1, but I think it has been partially reorchestrated. Probably the same reorchestration, but nevertheless, it's a reorchestration. Because they did not want to get the exact same tracks from Galaxy 1, because that would just be stealing and being cheap. Even though they did use some of the same songs, yes. Like, they used Honey Hive Galaxy in Honey Bloom, but... It's not the exact same track, it's just a reorchestration of that track. Anyways, we are done. That was quick, wasn't it, kiddies? You know what the best part is? Every Shadow Clone turns into a bunch of Star Bits. Yay! Star Bits! Murder is beneficial, kids. Write that in your book. Actually, don't, because that's just weird. Anyways, enough collecting. Let's grab the star. You got a power star because of another Miyamoto Lazy Moment. Alright, so unless another comet would like to make its appearance, I think we are done for this episode. We collected four stars. And now we would... Okay, fine. One more. For serious this time. 100% for serious. Okay? Okay. I'm glad we have an understanding in this matter. Right, so we're gonna do f <laughs> we're gonna do five, count them, five stars in this video. Can you believe it, children? Five stars. How insane is that? All right, prankster comet detected. All right, so now we're gonna do Pee Wee Piranha speed run, and this isn't just the speed run of the boss. No, it's a speed run in the entire stage. It's a little bit tricky, but I don't think it's all that tricky. Nevertheless, I am assuring myself that this is the very last star we will do in this video. Whether the game wants me to th or not. Because I think five is quite enough, don't you think, kids? I think it is quite enough, kids. Kids, I think it is quite enough for now. Slam! Going to the other side of the planet. Gravitational powers. Activate! And with the fact that there's a speed run, we actually skip a few sections of this galaxy. Including the one planet with the house and stuff like that. For the simple matter that is, since this is a speed run, we speed through the thing. And the game does not want us to make you think we're doing the entire thing again, just ever so slightly faster. And I'm gonna fall in there. Yes, I am. I'm so silly. Heh. <laughs> Meet you back there. Anyways, where was I? Ah, yes, Miyamoto worrying about, well, not Miyamoto, but just people worrying about having to do the same mission, basically, just having to do it with 
that quote unquote time limit. Nevertheless, time to battle Pee Wee Piranha once again. With him and his very disturbing egg diaper thingy. And his squeaky noises. His squeaky noises. Alright, so what you gotta do is basically the same as before. Wait until he jumps. And then you can smack his bum. Revealing his backside. Wait until he does it again. And smack him in the butt again. And then he will run around the planet. And then afterwards you can smack him in the butt again. And then he gets mad. Wait, 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 mad. That's ah, better. All right. So now he's got. Ow! He hurt me, jerk. Okay, can you jump? No, you're not gonna jump. Okay, you hurt me. That's not cool. Oh, what? He killed me. He killed me. Gonna meet you back there, Jalapar. Alright, meet you back here at the beginning of the boss instead of like midway through it, only because of uh things. Smack him in the butt. Chase after me, son, get mad, get mad, get mad, like you've never gotten mad before, like madness, like mad, like mad, like batting mad. Alright, come on. Smack him in the butt. We gotta collect the time limit thingy. Collected! Alright, I think we might be able to do it this time if it doesn't hit us. Which he hasn't yet so far, so we should be good. But smack! Let's see if we can catch him around the other side. He'll turn around and can smack him in the pot and we can defeat him for good! Alright, let us grab the power star. We got a power star. After dying twice in this galaxy. Alright. Whether the game wants me to or not, this will be the very last star we get in this video. Okay? Okay? No! No, I'm not listening. I'm not listening. I'm not listening. No, 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 no. I'm not listening. You can't make me. You can't make me. You can't make me. Anyway, so next time on Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy 2, we're going to be doing the Boulder Bowl Comet Star. And then we're going to be moving on to one of my favorite galaxies of the game, Haunty Halls. So until then, see you later, and goodbye.